Hi guys, so Boris Johnson was asked a question about Brexit red tape, and instead of answering that, he started ranting about lamb sheds and the cost to heat them. This was a pretty bizarre response to an issue that is impacting Welsh producers. Now, because Great Britain is outside the single market and the customs union, it means that farmers there are facing a whole new range of checks and paperwork which they didn't face some years ago. Have a listen to Johnson dodge the original question and rant about something completely unrelated. Can I squeak in uh, a question on farmers in Mid Wales? Yes. Some of them struggling at the moment with paperwork related to Brexit. Um, when will that improve for them? Well, I'm just hearing a fantastic uh, agricultural uh, food business that is, I think, uh, doing better and better. And, we, and we, one of the things we want to do, of course, is to, is to cut their, their, their energy costs. Uh, but there are, there are and, and that will, I think, particularly help a, 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 a fantastic business like this. But if you look at uh, lambing sheds, uh, which I remember from uh, when my family were, uh, were farming, uh, you know, the, there are big expenditures in energy, uh, inputs like fertilizer, that's, that's driven very much by the, uh, the cost of, uh, of fuel. Get that down, fix the price of energy, and you really start to help the agricultural sector as well. Um, the original question was about Brexit red tape and what you're going to do to help these farmers. The question was not about the cost of living crisis, which, yes, is a, is a massive issue at the moment, of course. But the question was, <laughs> Welsh farmers are struggling at the moment because of the new conditions, the new regulations, the new red tape. They didn't have to jump through these hoops before. Now they do because of Brexit. What are you going to do about that? How are you going to help them out? Well, obviously, he can't or he doesn't want to because he didn't answer the question. If he actually did have a solution to this, he would have said, well, this is what we're going to do. But he started talking about lambing sheds. Shows a complete and utter disconnect. But also, look, Boris Johnson understands, I hope he understands, that the only way really to fix this is to rejoin the single market and the customs union. Now, you can try and have some sort of bespoke deal with the European Union when it comes to agri agriculture, agri-food, but the, the best way forward would be to rejoin the single market and the customs union. And unfortunately, the Tories are not interested in doing this. Boris Johnson's not interested in doing this. And it means that farmers all over the UK, but in particular in this case in Wales, well, they're going to have to continue to jump through these hoops extra costs and extra paperwork, which was completely unnecessary. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.